But in those days, when they would go down to the river, uh, well, you would have the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the Herodians and the Romans, and they would be taking the names of the people down who were being baptized. These are the Christians. Mm -hmm. And so what you did is, uh, you just, as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, when they told Nebuchadnezzar, our God is, is able to deliver us from you. But if he chooses not to, we're still not going to bow down and worship your statue. Yes. Amen. And that was the point uh, that we make when we go to be baptized. That we are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we're immersed in Christ. That Christ and Christ alone is our head. He is our Savior. Amen. 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 Well, in conclusion, if you will, baptism is the first of two ordinances. God gives us two ordinances in the Scripture. Baptism and the Lord's table. Uh, and these are not electives. You know, these are not electives. There's things in the Bible that are electives, things that are not. And baptism... Okay, and the Lord's table are not elected. You are required. Another thing that's not elected is church attendance. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Bible doesn't say anywhere that, well, if you should find the time on Sunday morning or sometime, you know, try to make it out to church if you can. <laughs> not what Scripture says. In the Old Testament says, make sure your feet find a path to the house of God. In the New Testament, it says, not to forsake the assembly of yourself together in the house of God. Okay? So, there's no stuttering there, you see. The Lord makes it very clear. This is what He expects of you. Amen. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it says what? Everything we do in these bodies are a reasonable sacrifice to the Lord. Amen. That's right. And then when it comes to being baptized, that's not an elective either. Mm -hmm. Once you've received Christ as your Savior, you made a profession to God. Now your profession goes to man. Amen. Amen. And then what do you do? You take the Lord's table, whatever. Now, he doesn't say how often you have to take the Lord's table. He just tells you whatever you do. You do it in remembrance of him, huh? Right. And so that's what we're going to do today as, as the candidates come out today. They're going to be uh, baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And from this very day on, they're making a profession to all of you and to the world that the Lord Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 And so, some things that we, I do want to say about baptism. You're, it always takes place after a profession of faith. This is why there is no such thing as infant baptism. The Bible, you will not find one place, not one place, not one place in the New Testament where anyone is baptized other on than their profession of faith in Jesus Christ. Then, uh, infants are not to be baptized because infants don't know how to make a profession of faith in Christ. And so, and there's not one instance, not one instance at all in the New Testament where an infant was baptized. Uh, all instances of baptism in the New Testament are by immersion. There's not one instance of anyone being baptized by infusion or sprinkling. And remember, you are baptized because you're saved, not to be saved. You don't get saved by baptism. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so with that, I just want to say, we've been coming to you from Doers of the Word Baptist Church, 147 Anyone's Ferry Road in Newberry, Ohio. And until next week, well, you can listen to us here at 2 a.m., 8 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. You've been listening to us on the Eagle 104.3 FM in Tampa and Ocala. And until next week, we want to say good morning, God bless, and remember always, always, keep fighting the fight.
Father God, we pray you bless the offering today for your honor and glory. And yeah. God, we thank you for the good service we had today, a good time of fellowship, and the good fellowship that's still ahead of us. And we ask you that you be honored and glorified in all that's done. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 time you make a right out of this lot and go down to the yellow you make blinking. a right out of this lot you go to the, the first okay. light it's a uh, just blinking, blinking like take a, a mile take a left it says and you go mile. only about you know just oh, about right. an eighth of a mile and you're right there right. you can't hardly miss it folks uh, who's got some words of praise yes got my wider turn praise the lord <laughs> Seven weeks. Seven weeks without any water. When she got the water turned on, she spent a whole day in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, hell. I praise the Lord for everybody getting baptized today. Amen. Amen. Uh, who else has any words of praise out there? Y'all should have a lot of words of praise. Yes. For everything. Yeah, there's there's so much out there to be thankful for. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. We pray just praise the good Lord for that, and for each other, huh? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, and I'm glad all of our uh, so many of our Cortland folks showed up here today. That is great. For so you know what that means, Cortland folks? It means when we do something out there, then what? Reciprocate. The new American people need to show up out there. Oh, yeah. right? east. <laughs> Yes, Grandma. Praise for all the people who are going to keep Cleveland safe during the convention. Amen. Amen. You know what? Yes. Why don't we? Why don't we pray, pray for that, yes. Dale? Why don't you pray for the folks that men uh, and all of those because of what's going to happen? We know the enemy is planning on uh, death and destruction. Oh yeah. Lead us in that prayer. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord, that we can bring our petitions before you to bring your consideration. Uh, we have the uh, convention happening this week uh, downtown. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, scuttlebutt about uh, uh, trouble occurring. Uh, it only occurs with your uh, permission, and uh, 
we know the ungodly want to uh, destroy whatever uh, they can and uh, <coughs> and uh, get their agenda through. We know we're close to the end of the age of uh, grace, and uh, you know you may allow it, but we would ask for uh, uh, for safety for uh, uh, everybody that uh, that there are no injuries that. Uh, Nobody gets shot, and when uh, people are going to be carrying guns, that uh, you know, we, uh, that uh, you know, it winds up being a, a time of safety. That uh, that uh, the uh, police are, and uh, military that are going to be down there uh, keep things under control. We pray that uh, the uh, that the protesters don't uh, expand out. That uh, we're able to uh, do your will at the uh, abortion clinics this week to. Uh, Try and, uh, to uh, present your uh, uh, message of life to the to those going in that uh, and maybe some babies could be saved. We know you do the saving, not us. We are we're there to serve you, and uh, we give you thanks and praise for uh, all that you do in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, if there's other words of praise, then uh, you're excused going up there, and I'll be. What about our song? Oh, oh! Well, we better sing that. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 We gather around. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Good segue.